Electronics is a very interesting field. To become creative with it, you have to just play with stuff, like an electronic component. Just keep trying different things or projects and you will end up building interesting stuff. You never know what you can do, just keep trying stuff. Most especially with the 55 timer IC. It's one of the most incredible IC that can do anything. And you might have seen people on the internet use them for different projects. You just need to learn how to use them. I have made a video on that, link in the description box. Well, I was just playing with this IC and I just said, let me see what happens when I just have to connect these two of these ICs together. What it resulted to was a game changer for me. Have you ever thought of building something with the 55 timer IC in such a way one LED blinks twice or thrice and shifts into the next LED and does the same thing, switches back again and continues in this manner? Well, you might be thinking, where is this kind of project used? Example, like in a police light system or a plane navigation system. So let's build one of these to see. So I set up two 55 timers IC together and connected all their power pins to our power rails. That's pin 8 to the positive supply rail and pin 1 to the negative supply rail and connected pin 4 and 8 together also done with the second IC and also connected pin 6 and 2 together. Every connection on both IC are just symmetrical. So I placed a 1 mega ohms resistor between pin 3, the output pin and pin 6 and also place a 100 nanofarad capacitor between pin 1 and pin 2 and a 1 microfarad capacitor between the pin 2 and the ground so rail. So I mount all 8 LEDs separately for each side and all in parallel connection. With a 56 ohms resistor, I place the resistor between the anode and pin 3 symmetrically down to the second IC. Now for their cathode leads, the first LED cathode, I place a jumper wire between the cathode and the second IC output pin 3, also symmetrically done for the second LED. Its cathode is connected to the first IC output and I am done with this connection. So I put in my supply. After powering up the circuit, only one part of the LED was blinking and not as much as I thought until I found that this current limiting resistor was out of its position. So I corrected its issue and boom, the circuit works again. After that, I had to change one part of the LED to blue color so it seems like it's a police flashing light. Changing the resistor value or the capacitor value can also increase or decrease the speed of the LED flashing. Now you can see the difference in the flashing speed after changing the value of the capacitor to a higher value. So now let's see how this circuit works. The two ICs operate in different frequencies. The first IC uses a smaller capacitor and so switches faster per second. The second 55 timer IC uses a bigger value capacitor. In that case, it takes more time to toggle its output. In other words, its switching time is less. That means it takes more time to switch from on state to off state. The first group of LED turns on when there's a positive voltage at the anode and a negative voltage at the cathode. And this happens when the first 55 timer IC is on and the second is off at the same time. So when the output of the second 55 timer is off, only the first group of LED have a chance of turning on at the blinking speed of which the first 55 timer toggles its output. Similarly, when the second 55 timer turns on, the second group of LED have a chance of turning on at the blinking speed at which the first 55 timer toggles its output. And these circles continue in this way and this create this attitude or behavior of the blinking light. Okay, that's all for today's video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button 
like and share and drop a comment below.